Loco, you're the queen? Oh, snap. She's talking about me. Yas, queen. She's right. I am a queen. I don't know what that means, but... She wants to increase my power level. It's basically Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta, what's the scouter say about his power? That's me. I'm aiming for 9,000. At least. Okay, I think we're gonna go for that base up north. We'll set our reinforcing location right over there. We're gonna do a big, big drop to the top section of the map. Trying to bring a bunch of Zerklings. We're gonna save it here, right before I do this drop. I know, crazy idea. I don't think the Zerk over here are affected at all by it, right? I wonder if there's less static defense over there right now, too. Flash freeze is passing. Oh. There's another section over here that I did not really consider. Are you guys okay here? I don't know if I can win that fight. My Zerklings are pretty strong though, it seems. They're just expensive. Matriarch essence useful. Visibility during flash freeze increased. That was still a very dangerous move, wasn't it? Don't know if it's even really worth it. He just killed my lair. Yeah, that's a lot of money gone. Okay. I don't even really know if I need to kill this, but it'd be kind of nice. So, there's once again Dark Templar here. And I have no detection. If I don't look at it, my problems will automatically go away. These are the rules that I live by. This base is so difficult to kill, dude. It's so pricey. I don't even think I really need to kill it. It's just that I did it in the previous run. I think I'm gonna just... Yeah, let it be. We'll just let it be. Because I don't think they just fight me. I'm pretty sure those other Zergs are going after the Protals too. So, like, I kept taking them out, but I really don't need to. I'm fairly sure I can just let them do their own thing, and I will just get benefits from them. The enemy of my uh, enemy is my ally? Something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but... Okay. So maybe that's why that base is so well protected, because you're not really supposed to take it out. I made a few detectors here, so we're done with that. Dude, I went to Facebook earlier today. Facebook in 2024 is a really fascinating platform. Like, nobody I know really still uses the platform, so all I see on there is like random updates of things I don't care about. Like I saw a notification this morning about Zuckerberg updating his profile picture. 
And the responses on Zuckerberg updating his profile picture are amazing, dude. There's a lot of people there that are responding to those those things. Like it's 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 beautiful. I can't even explain it to you guys. Like you would have to see it in order to believe it. Oh, I do actually have to kill the base for that corpse thing. Hmm, maybe I'll do it later. You go to Facebook Warbringer? Nice. Approaching soon. There were a bunch of posts about like Mike Tyson boxing or something. It's like I don't really care, but okay. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. <laughs> you know what those guys are boxing for, guys? Money. Yeah. Bro, if I could make as much money boxing as they did, oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna be me versus Harstam. Next UFC match. Everything's allowed. No gloves. It's gonna be hype. We we'll have a pre-show. Rotterdam versus Euthermal. Oh, how are you going here? You compete in the KFC? Ooh, that's nice. I should probably do this a little differently, huh? Those Dark Templar hit very hard, yeah. We're gonna sit here and just make a bunch of army first. I have so much money here that I don't really need to do much, but I'm also a little afraid of just spending it all, because I will probably run out of cash here before too long in this entire mission, which is a funny dilemma to have. Because your bases do run out. So this is a bit different than multiplayer, where you actually want to spend all your money ASAP. Yeah, there is a command center up there. I guess I can make a little loop around. See if there's anything exciting that I can actually make out of it. The queens do seem quite powerful. How'd you guys get over here? I'm not sure. Do I have to do anything special? I don't think so, right? I think I just get it automatically. Okay, we're maxed out now. Flash freeze will be here soon. Okay, I have this base. Well, what's the point of this base? Can I fly it? Oh, I can fly it! Oh, that's a move. I can move it over here. Yeah. The Protoss forces are now frozen. Okay, we're going that way. Spreading the creep forward. It's kind of hard to see what's going on here because of all these graphics, but... I think I just lost everything to, like, one reaver. That, I would say, is suboptimal. Clearing this map is actually not easy. I mean, I have so much army. I guess I should make a bunch of evo chambers and just max them out. That is one thing I did forget about. Oh, there's a base over here. Um, I think I'm gonna give this a moment though. Yeah, we'll be back with the next flash freeze. We're not really in a rush. And this is a little bit messy.
Well, I mean, most of my damage comes just from having the units. I don't think the upgrades are quite as important here, but this is obviously late. All these units hit so hard as it is. Oh wow. <laughs> the annihilators are boosting down. All my stuff. Okay. Yeah, I have a massive bank here. So I shouldn't be running out of cash, but I'm still gonna keep pushing every one of these uh, moments that I can. Okay, that base is being taken care of. There's a Void Ray. Massive pillar in front of my screen, very useful. <laughs> Looks like this base is taken care of now. There's a bonus objective ah, that I should have picked up already. You guys go and fight them, please. I'm gonna take this expansion. It's no use, will destroy. Okay. Yeah, so they don't rebuild on creep, ever. So as long as you have a bit of creep spread, it seems to prevent them from rebuilding. This area apparently can't be creeped up. We need to go and kill that expansion up north, though. It's kind of far away. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just drop overlords with zerklings. And my queens. Because the zerklings are insanely strong. These things are a bit uh, risky to rely on, I guess. Do I not have more links? I guess I don't have that many zerklings because my bases are actually like these. These links are actually very supply heavy. Flash freeze will be here soon. Yeah, so these zerklings are twice as expensive in supply as they normally are. Okay, we're gonna try and drop that base up north. A creep tumor is under attack. Unacceptable command. Flash freeze storm has arrived. Really? The protos are attacking me during the flash freeze now? Is under attack. Okay, I think it's just gonna be a very costly move, but we'll have to uh, get that bonus objective one way or another. Maybe I don't even need to drop units. Maybe I can just... Hmm. No, now we should be good. Good. This is a huge base, by the way. Holy crap, look at the mineral count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... Just one more. It looks huge. Just one more is massive, dude. I learned to count. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't feel too guilty for watching my stream today, so I figured I'd make it educational. Yeah, I don't want you guys to procrastinate and waste your Saturdays, you know, so I figured if I at least add something that you guys may find useful. Like maybe somebody's watching this on the living room television. Where, you know, their kids are running around and they're trying to teach them different things, you know? Like, this would be a very helpful thing. 
The next thing I'll teach your children is how to say fuck. Very educational stream. <laughs> Sorry. In case you are watching those on the living room, living room television. You <laughs> couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. No. Couldn't resist. Okay, we have done everything. It's about nine minutes left in my Saturday loco. Flash freeze storm approaching soon. How is that possible, dude? It's only 5 p.m. That sounds like some fake news to me. Yeah, what did I just get for my balls pure? Tonning claws we had? Parasitic bile? Yes. Deals an addition- wait, is it Hydriotic Bile? What did I just get? No, Parasitic Bile. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. Units that die from corrosive rains, dot effect, spawn brutlings near their remains? Okay. That sounds pretty good, man. Uh, that sounds, uh, that sounds alright, I guess. These queens are kind of strong, guys. I think I'm gonna save it, and we'll just send all of our attack commands in this direction. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, why'd you guys do it? Okay. Yeah, you can't actually make that many zerklings because the zerklings are twice as heavy in supply as they normally are. AKA one supply each. I used to be a uh, Bal Spewer main, but I think I may actually mix them in every once in a while. They require a lot of micro. And I don't even know if Zerk units really know what that is, or Zerk players really even know what that is. Nobody plays Zork because they want a micro, do they? What's going on, Papa Booch? Pa Papa Ubuch? How are you? Look how many queens I have. Oh my god, <laughs> they hit hard now. They actually just spawn Brutelings too, I guess, when you have this many of them. Yeah, they will just... Wait, not always. I think sometimes I kill them too quick, so we don't get to spawn that many. Okay, we did it. That was a surprisingly slowly played mission by me, but we did it in the end. The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna do one more mission today. Let's do one more. Yeah, I think it's fun to like, you know, whenever you play these type of missions to do like one as like a, an exploration. And if you make it, fine. We captured a but if you don't, My that's okay queen, too. Your chamber is now available. What is the yes, Kerrigan chamber gonna do? Because Kerrigan herself is not there. Here, you can focus your Dude, I forgot about the outfit that she wears in this campaign. Ay-yay-yay. I know. I know. I know, Kerrigan. Or Isha. Drones morph from larva in 30% less time. Ah, or I have this, accelerated mutations, weapon and armor resurges are 35% faster and cheaper. Crawlers move faster and the cooldown of deep tunnel for primal worms is reduced by 35%. Uh, I think I like that one better. 
Baneful Brutelings. Brutelings gain a 25% increased attack speed and plus 4 damage versus armored targets. Or empowered spork or empowered crawlers, rather. Spine crawlers, spore crawlers, primal worms, and infested planetary fortresses benefit from ground missile and carapace upgrades. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm gonna keep with the baneful brute links. That is pretty strong though. A bile spewer. We get hydriotic bile, so that's the one I just got. So this spawns additional stuff, right? Wait, no, they already do that by default. Wait, don't they? Okay. Gains plus three armor when the bile spewer's life is under 50%. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Because even though they regen really quickly, they do actually appear quite flimsy. Now we have Corrosive Rain. It deals double impact damage against structures and the damage over time effect deals an additional 50 damage over time to structures. So it's like 120 damage to structures? Um, I think I'm gonna go with Adaptive Plating. It's a bit boring. But it's strong. You know what? I had a lot of money in that previous run. I think it's because of the Pillaging Claws. I don't think it was all mining. I think I had a huge bank because of the pillaging claws. So I'm gonna keep that around for another mission. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. Ooh, they we get hunter prepared. killers. I do like them. Did you just say the words chocolate rain in the chat? That's an old YouTube video, dude. Chocolate rain! Some stay dry and others feel the pain. <laughs> Does anyone remember that song? That's a very long time ago, man. When do you think that, that video was uploaded? Chocolate Rain. Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. Original. Can we find the original? I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuris. 2007. The shuttle passes through. They can alert Shakuris to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect- 2007 is not 13 years ago, by the way. For those of you, uh, trying to do the math. New intel! The proto shuttles are equipped with powerful shields that nullify all damage until their energy is drained. Crawler mutations are now available at the spawning pool. Maybe the crawler mutations would have been good over here, huh? All crawler and primal worms gain plus one range? Crawlers root almost instantly. I'm gonna get the extended range. That seems pretty sick. Yeah, we're gonna make a lot of we're gonna make a, a lot of hunter killers. I think in this mission, mind numbing spine launches a spine coated in mind numbing toxins, deals 30 damage and drains all energy from the target. Yeah, sure. On autocast. You know what Hydra's always needed? Additional damage output. We will bring down that shuttle. Basically, I have an automated steady targeting that normally ghosts have. Leave this ball of ice. This Zerg is feral. It is not and these things have 125 HP as well. I think normally it's like what 80 for a Hydra, I want to say. Gathering biological samples and storing them in these stasis chambers. We'll destroy the chambers and take the biomass if we can. This hive cluster now belongs to the swarm. Okay. Oh, we actually already have to go here. Uh, we do only have one hotkey though for burrow and unburrow, which is a little annoying, but I guess it's okay. Wait, I can get another upgrade? Oh, there's one for each tier. The warp conduit. It must be destroyed before it jumps out of the system. Interesting. That pew sound, was that my hydra? The hive cluster is under attack. 
Does it only do air? It doesn't say that it does it only against air, but... I think it may only be against air, because I don't seem to be targeting it. <laughs> it's the snipe sound effect. It basically is snipe, yeah. Hydra feedback? Oh, it can only use it against units that have energy, I think. Yeah, that's why, that's why. So it works against units. It's basically feedback. Hunter Templar. The greatest unit. And maybe the most cursed one, too. Depends on your definition of greatest. Okay. The Hydras look like they have armor on? Yeah, they do. They do have armor on. Okay. Make a bunch of spores. Make a bunch of spines. Okay. Large quantities of biomass. Good to have. Can use to improve swarm. I love biomass. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But I love having it. Another shuttle. Ooh. This one is accompanied by a fighter escort. A fighter escort? Stop us all, Kerrigan. Oh no. Not a fighter escort. So this one is also heading on over in this direction. I added on a bunch of spines and spores in that area. This is usually one of the few missions where I do make a lot of spines and spores, because it's really strong. So there's another base up here. I think I'm gonna take that after securing this next upcoming one. Let's listen to the sniperinos. <laughs> That's so cursed! Oh my god, do that deal a lot of damage. Woo! Okay. Not bad. What's going on, Zen? Fought the swarm. Fought the swarm indeed. You gotta learn our cheer, though, dude. It is, it is not quite fought the swarm, but it's okay. A for effort, thank you very much. They deal nine damage per attack, which is a whole lot. Okay. How does it work? They have three attacks. So they deal 27 damage per attack. I would say that's pretty good. Then again, what do I know? Look at that Protoss unit joining in the Zerk. Disgusting. The Protoss have launched another shuttle. 
It is bearing towards an unknown location. They're bringing more warp conduits online. I sense two more activating. Okay. Apparently they're gonna fly over this section that I'm currently at. I'll take it. What's going on, Sun Aniri? Thank you so much. Gifting a community sub. Okay. Here's the main objective point. Yeah, we deal so much damage. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Dark Templar actually kind of messed me up at home in the meantime. Okay. We'll have to move on over in this direction, I guess. Take that gas. I do still have to be in multiple locations at once. A little bit of multitasking required, apparently. More creep spread would also be quite handy, though. Oh! <laughs> I did not quite expect a uh, Corsair attack. What were the doing with all yeah, what the were they doing, bro? Can we really trust the Protoss with this much information and power? Your forces are approaching the enemy's base. Let us attack! Yeah, they attack with vegetables. Can we really trust the protos? Where did that even come from? Yikes. There's actually a base over here. I did not realize that part. They also have a bunch of hunter killers though. Sniping my units. Is it? Examine biomass, consume, improve swarm. The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Well, oh, that makes things a little more complicated. Okay, taking this expansion for myself now. Uh, 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 uh. How much uh, of an escort does this one have? Uh, not too much. We already got it. Dude, the hunter killers when they focus their fire are just insane. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sick. Where is this coming from? They're they're coming from there, I guess. Yeah. 
We'll have to take care of some of these units. Ooh. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Ooh. Don't walk into that one, girl. Bad for your health. I think I may have walked into a few storms without me realizing it. Is that... Oh, for a second it was a Dark Templar here somewhere. Okay. Taking another base. Gotta go fast. Is this where the units spawn out of? I don't know if I was supposed to clear out this much of the map. This is one of the docking base. A launch bay has been <laughs> destroyed. The Protoss will be forced to launch their shuttles from the remaining base. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to kill that. I think you can normally kill it, but I don't know if you're supposed to in this mission. Like, in this particular custom campaign. Because I feel like we killed it quite early, but... Yeah, I think the mission ends when you kill them all. Are launching two sets of shuttles. Ooh, they have disruptors. Tenacious bastards. Whoa, Kerrigan! My family-friendly show! I'm gonna save it here just in case. Can't believe it, man. I wanna apologize to all the parents watching this with their kids. The swearing. It won't fucking ever happen again, okay? Woo! Base almost dead. Almost, but not entirely. Uh, I did lose a lot of stuff. They use a lot of Dark Templar as part of their like base unit compositions. And they deal a lot of damage. Uh, there's a DT here somewhere. I think there's a few, yeah. Okay. What a mess. <laughs> I keep hearing these snipe sounds and I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Do I have detection? Then I realize it's my own Hydralisk. That for some reason have the ability to snipe. Hunter killers now have plus one attack range and plus two mind numbing spine range. Mind numbing spine, by the way, was my nickname in college. 
very short range though. Very short range. Pink is my ally now. Ah. I was just about to kill him. That would have been mean of me. Ooh. It's okay. My units have a million HP. <laughs> I've always liked this mission. I don't know why. It just feels really zergy to me. So satisfying. Bro, this guy is telling me his war strategy. I don't really know much about warfare, but I feel like that's a bad build. Another Protoss launch bay has been destroyed. Gonna make a backup Hydra then. Okay. Yo, Matrix. They really are just trying to hide the prime button more and more. Yeah, I heard that, man. It really is kind of a nasty business practice. Twitch has been making some strange decisions lately. It's very frustrating to me. Sorry about that, man, but thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. They hide it, man. They want you to forget about it. I love the idea of the fact that, like, at the Twitch headquarters, they must actively have meetings, and they're like, okay, how can we make this more difficult? <laughs> Somebody's got to do an evil laugh at some point. How can we remove the feature? <laughs> Decreasing the user experience is always a nice thing to do, huh? Very deliberate, too. Two waves remaining. I think I actually should not be attacking. Because these are kind of powerful, but eh, base is kind of small. There is a Dark Templar here, however. I don't know where the launch bay is, though. Oh, it's this one. This is the big boy right over here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I can jump it. I'll go around the side here. It's not like I have that much money, though. An anonymous gifter is gifting five community subs. Thanks, Obama. Could have been. I'm just saying it could have been. Shout out to Obama for the five gift subs. <sighs> Thank you very much. Good. The warp conduit.
Protoss are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is... Yes, queen. This mod is very fun. Is it's not that easy, though. Until they are all dead. Like... This is not a mod that you can just cruise through, you know? Like, it's, um, you actually have to put in a little bit of effort, which is really sweet. Oh, apparently I did not unfreeze all the feral zerg. I mean, it's certainly not the hardest custom campaign out there, but you do have to use your brain at least a little bit. Restart. Because I, <laughs> I didn't unfreeze one of the feral zerg. You have grown stronger, my queen. A new tier of abilities has awakened. If you wish to use a new ability, you must select it. The Otherwise, spawning pool generates eight activate. free devouring ones every 60 seconds? They cause no supply? Bro, the devouring, that is eight free supply of attacking units that are incredibly powerful. Every minute? It's not like you're ever going to have a game where you don't have the spawning pool. Plus, if you set up the devouring ones to give you free resources whenever they attack enemy structures, this is like making you money. Not bad. Overlords morph instantly and provide 50 more supply. Overseers morph instantly and gain extra base armor. Nah, that's way boring. We're definitely gonna go Zerkling or Constitution here. Absolutely. Do I have the Hydra? I do. Can I make more? <gasps> what if I go mass spawning pool? Do I get, for 200 minerals each, do I get eight supply worth of units every minute? Like, what if I make a dozen spawning pools? Because that would sound very broken to me. We're gonna have to give that a try. <sighs> when Frenzy is activated, the Hunter Killer gains additional attack speed. Gains 25 maximum life, an increase of 25%, as well as one base armor and life regen. Whew, life regen is kind of sick. Mind wrecking venom. Okay. Mind numbing spines deal plus 10 base damage, as well as deal additional damage equal to 50% of the energy burned. It is literally feedback snipe. It's snipe feedback. Whatever you want to call it. Wait, what? What was that noise? This is a random... Ah! I had a bit of a leg spike on my end. Wait, what just happened? Oh, my chat wasn't updating. Oh, interesting. Scrandalicious. Casual 10 community sub drop. I appreciate it. I thought my chat was just being very quiet. I thought you guys just weren't saying anything right there for a moment. But apparently my chat was not updating. Hey, thank you very much, Scrandalicious. That is super generous of you. I think I like the ancillary carapace the most, but I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna have to go with Mind Wrecking Phantom. Yeah, I don't really like activated abilities, so anything, anything passive. Okay. I got started with the Enhanced Swarm mod a couple of days ago, previous stream. This is basically a new custom campaign that just wrapped up where Kerrigan is not available. The entire base of the campaign seems to be set on the Nightmare difficulty, which is basically this much more difficult version of the game, which would normally be impossible, but every single one of the Zerg units is incredibly powerful. So all of the units have different mutation missions, and in general, they're all insane. Like, for example, Zerglings have this thing over here, where, well, they're not even called Zerglings, they're called Devouring Ones. They have a 25% chance to steal two minerals and one gas every time they attack a structure. Yeah, it's a very fun campaign so far. Not necessarily the easiest. The Protoss have launched a vessel from a bit the challenging, but also not super hard. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. I get plus one Kerrigan level. Hype. You've missed the start of the stream, Obsidian? Oh, snap, dude. I didn't know you weren't here yet. Hold up. Uh, where's my timer? Get my timer over here. Get, get my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, everybody else watching, how are y'all doing today? Welcome to the stream and Obsidian. Good to see you here again. Welcome. We're gonna jump into our first mission for today. Uh, it's called Enemy Within. <laughs> Luckily, you're 40 minutes late. No, I'm not. Wait. Good morning, guys. Hello. Good to see you all. Obsidian is here, guys. He's here. We can begin. <laughs> Alrighty. The time has come for Wait. You to grow into a brood mother. Oh, okay. We just skipped that entire section of the This area is safe from prying eyes. Evolve. The Protoss capture several specimens of the Zerg for future study. Free them to bolster your forces. The logs recovered from Lasara also list a unique sample of biomass stored somewhere in the vessel that could be used to bolster our overseers. Okay, we just find all the things. That's the plan. Was I supposed to go back? I don't think so. Nah, I think it's basically to skip the first section of this mission. So I can, um... Parasitic Invasion. You are Niadra. This is your purpose. Spawn a brood and destroy the Protoss. So are these devouring ones? Yeah. I Don't that just win? Kill these creatures. Yeah. I can consume their biomass and use it to grow our brood. Should I have the Zerg have infiltrated our vessel? Warriors, destroy them. Okay, no no no. It's been a little while since I've played these missions, man. I feel so clumsy sometimes. 